You know, I really wanna to talk to you guys about the Sony a7 IV and how great of a camera it actually is if you're looking to vlog, if you're looking to do marketing videos as a business, or even if you're looking to live stream. And also talk about some of the accessories that I use when I actually vlog. And it's really not that many. There's only a few of them that you actually do need. I know we get caught up on accessories. And let me tell you, from my experience, after purchasing a bunch of stuff, there's only a few of them that I actually use. But the first thing I wanna show you guys is how cool it actually is to use it as a vlogging camera. Now this footage is actually when my wife and some friends went out to Orlando, Florida. We took a vacation and went to the Magic Kingdom and I had everything was auto. The ISO was auto, the white balance was auto. So everything was on auto. So I didn't have to worry about changing, you know, anything on the camera in regards to the settings. And it performs really well on auto. Oh yeah, and the other thing is, all that footage was actually handheld. And actually I only had it on steady shot on the whole time. Now, if your footage is still a little bit shaky once you're done, even with the steady shot on, the great thing is you could always fix that when you're actually editing as well without going through any additional software. I edit in Final Cut Pro and you could actually stabilize the footage in Final Cut Pro and continue on editing while it actually fixes it. And it doesn't crop that much. To be honest with you, I think it maybe crops maybe 5% crop. When, he's, when it's actually fixing the shakiness, which if you're using a wide lens, you're not gonna notice a difference. All right guys, so I just got back from shooting a marketing video with a real estate agent out in San Diego and I'm in Orange County. So that's about an hour and a half drive uh, to shoot this video. What I really wanna talk about is some of the equipment that you actually need so that way you can minimize the amount of stuff you wanna carry. Now, the first one I wanna talk about is the mic. Now, the mic that I'm actually using right now is the DJI wireless mic, in which I have it right underneath my jacket and I like wearing it inside instead of just hanging on the side just because visually I think it looks better. Uh, I personally don't like it when it hangs outside or I'm actually holding it. With this one, it, since it does have a magnetic attachment, you could just put it on the inside and it really works really well. The audio I think is actually really well, but you guys let me know how the audio is actually sounding right now. Let's talk about the next accessory, which is a tripod. The one I love using is the Alonzi tripod. Now, the reason why I like this particular tripod by Alonzi is because one, it's light. Two, it fits perfectly on the side of my backpack so it doesn't actually stick out too much and it's ideal to carry around because it's not too heavy. Now, aside from the Alonzi tripod, the one that I actually like using when I'm actually walking and vlogging is the PG White Tech Manus Pod. It's so sturdy, it's so versatile, and it's easy to use because it has a quick release on it, which makes my life a whole lot easier, even if it only takes a few seconds, but it definitely makes a difference when you're out and about, when you wanna change maybe different angles. Now, when it comes to gimbals, this is the gimbal that I actually use. This is the Ronin RS3 Mini, and I like this one because it's still small, where it fits on my backpack along with uh, my other equipment but it also can handle my Sony a7 IV if need be. The lens that I actually use is a 13 millimeter 1.4 Viltrox lens. Now this lens is actually made for an APS-C camera like a Sony ZV-E10. The Sony a7 IV is a full frame camera, so I still haven't purchased a full frame lens yet, but the fact that the lens is actually so wide, it works perfectly with any of the videos that I actually make, whether it's vlogging or marketing videos. If you're asking, where do I carry all this stuff? Well, I'm glad you asked. I carry everything in this PGY Tech backpack, which is water resistant, and my Lonzi tripod fits perfectly on the side, and it doesn't hang too much off from where the backpack is at. I think the Lonzi one sits at about 15 inches when it's in here, 
uh, which is perfect because I think the bag alone is about 16 to 17 inches in height. So I was looking for the tripod that fit this perfectly and it wasn't too bulky. Now let's talk about live streaming with the Sony 874, which is another great thing about this particular camera because it's so simple to actually live stream with the Sony 874. And that's initially another reason why I was actually looking to purchase this particular camera or the reason why I actually got this camera. I was looking for a vlog, I was looking to do professional work, and I was also looking for a quality camera that I could actually live stream that was simple to connect. And this camera definitely does it. So this one, if you get the right cable, and I mean, this is important because I didn't get the right cables when I first purchased the camera when I was trying to live stream. So let me tell you exactly what cable you're actually gonna need, which is the USB-C to USB-A cable. Now it's really important that you get the right one. I am gonna put the links in the description so you do order the right ones. Whether you decide to use my link or not, you know, it's up to you guys. I would appreciate it if you did. But anyways, I wanna make sure that you do order the right one. And the great thing about this particular cable is the fact that it charges your camera at the same time while it's live streaming. And you just connect it to the camera and straight into your uh, computer and you're good to go. You don't have to download any additional software. It automatically just starts working. When it comes to the settings, as soon as you connect your camera from the cable to the computer, the camera will actually recognize that and will ask you, is this a USB live stream? Or all you have to do is click OK on the camera and you're ready to go. It really is that simple. Now here's the thing that you should know when it comes to live streaming. Depending on the platform that you actually get, I know there's quite a few of them out there. Now the one that I use is Riverside.fm and the reason is because it's affordable just like some of the other ones. With Riverside.fm you could actually live stream at 4K and 1080 while some of the other ones out there that I'm not gonna name because they're pretty popular, probably one of the more popular ones that I see creators promoting out there, you're not gonna get the 1080 or 4K. So just kind of hits up on that. So make sure that you do get the streaming software or the streaming platform that's gonna allow you to record or live stream at 4K or 1080p. So overall guys, that's my take on the Sony a7 IV. I think it's definitely a great camera. It's a versatile camera for blogging, for creating uh, professional marketing videos, because I have used it for both of those. And not only that, for live streaming, it's so user friendly when it comes to live streaming as well. You don't need any additional software. Now I did put all my links in the description below if you guys wanna purchase any of the products or accessories that I have. Now if you guys did enjoy this video and the information I provided to you guys, do me a huge favor, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys have any questions, put them in the comment section below. I would love to answer them for you. Either way guys, check out some of these other videos that are popping up and I'll definitely see you guys on the next video.